How do I ensure my arc flash risk assessment is up to date? So when you start thinking about arc flash, the first question really is, do you have labels on your panels? Go out and look at your facility. If you see a label on there that says warning, danger, arc flash, that doesn't meet code compliance. You don't have everything you need. What you need to see is a label that has incident energy, arc flash voltage, arc flash approach boundaries, and all this specific information so that if someone walks up to a panel, they know exactly what they have to do to be safe while they're working on something. So step one to make sure you're in compliance is just, do we have the labels? The next piece then becomes is, how old are the labels? If you go up to it and you say, hey, this label was done back in 2011, you're out of date. Those things need to be looked at every five years at a minimum to make sure that nothing's changed and that everything is still consistent. The next piece is training. It's great to have the labels on there, but if you don't know what that label means, you're not going to be in compliance. So you have to make sure your people have been trained, understand the information, and they need that refresher training at least every three years to make sure that they're safe.